In this video, I want to show you how you can create your own custom KPI visuals by just using the default visuals in Power BI. I'm also going to show you how you can use symbols and emojis to add more visual impact to your reports. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So here's a very simple Power BI report that I prepared for you today. We just have one table here, the sales table, which has two columns, uh, dates and the sales uh, numbers for those dates. You can see that we are showing it here in the sales table here and we have a card here which just signifies the sale for a specific date that we select here in our drop down menu. So the 4th of July will show the sale for that specific day. So, and let's say we're given a task to compare this number to the previous day. So if we've selected the 4th of July, we're going to compare the difference between the number for the 4th of July against the 3rd of July number. And if you haven't seen my previous video before where we covered the KPI visuals, you know that we can do it by simply creating a measure and using the KPI visual here. So let's do that quickly so I can show you. So I'm going to create a new measure here and I'm going to say previous day and I'm going to create a calculate function which just sums up the sales and we're going to use the filter context previous day to as a means for us to filter this sum. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a new custom KPI here. We're gonna add the sales in our indicator, dates in our trend, and previous date in our target. Now with this KPI visual, you can see a couple of things. So you can see the value of the previous day, uh, which is 405. You can see the percentage change uh, against the previous day, which is 76.3%. And as I change the different dates here, you'll see that the numbers change as well. So you can see that, for example, the 29th of June, you can see that the number 644 against the previous day. Now using this visual is not really an issue because it gives you the data that you want, but it just limits you in terms of specific customization that you might want to do. So let's say you want to um, use arrow instead of uh, whatever they provide you there like the exclamation mark and the check or maybe you want to customize what they show at the bottom there the description it won't allow you to do that uh, or at least not to a level that you might want I want to show you a trick just by using measures and another card in order to get over this limitation so what we're gonna do we're gonna create a new measure right here we are gonna name this one a description we're going to add a couple of variables here for us to get started with. Um, we're going to create a variable called difference. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a difference to our sales against the previous day. And if we just return this just to show you what it, uh, it will return. If I drag this measure to a card here, it just gives you the difference uh, change from the previous day against uh, whatever dates you have selected. And we're gonna use that in a second, I'll show you how. We're gonna create another variable here, direction, which we'll uh, use to determine what, which direction this difference is going to up or down. And with this one, we're gonna use a switch function to make our lives easier. Say true here, and we'll say if the difference is greater than zero, then it's an up or down. Now here we can create or use custom emojis or symbols for the direction. And you can bring up the emojis pane by hitting the windows dot from your keyboard. And here you can select emojis that you can enter, um, uh, different, uh, different icons and different symbols. So, uh, here, maybe we'll just use some icons here. We'll use the triangles as an example. So we want to use the up triangle icon if the difference is a positive. If the difference is negative, we want to use the down icon uh, right here. And if it's neither of these or if it's zero, we want to just use the uh, circle. 
and that's pretty simple right so with our return let's return the direction and let's create um, just the spacing between them and let's also show the difference hit enter so you now have a card that shows the direction and the, uh, the the variance between the two. Now, what you can use or what you can do from here uh, is you can change this to something smaller. So let's say 20. Let's hide the category labels, make it transparent. And you can kind of position it so that it looks like it's a description for your card. So now what you have is basically a custom description, uh, which is essentially just two cards on top of each other. So it, it works exactly the same as this one, except that it's just two cards using the default card visual. But as you noticed, it doesn't really convey the same information as the KPI visual. So let's take it to the next level and let's uh, try to convey the same information. So we want to show the uh, value of the previous day and also the percentage change between yesterday and today. So let's go back to our description measure here and let's add another variable for us to work with. So the variable, this one will be the percent change. So to calculate the percent change is actually pretty simple. We've already done the legwork. Uh, we just need to get the difference and divide it by the previous day's value and you already have the percentage change that you can use uh, in your reports. Now let's modify our return. Um, and in this case, we want to modify it slightly. So we want to first show the direction and then we want to show the percentage change and inside the opening and closing brackets, we wanna show the value of the previous day. So let's do that by changing this slightly. So. Um, actually, we can just use it here. And we want to show the percent change here. Uh, but this will have some issues because it's not really a percent. It's going to show uh, as a, a decimal value. So we're going to change this format to a percent value here. And then we'll create another space in between. Uh, opening brackets. And in here, we want to show the value for previous day. And then another writing here to close it. So let's hide it. So now we'll make it just a little bit smaller. Let's say 15. So there you have it. So now you have uh, the three things as a comment, as a description here in our KPI visual. We have the direction. Um, we have the percentage change, which is exactly the same as the KPI visual and the value of yesterday. And as you see, as I change the different dates here, it's, um, it does the exact same thing as the KPI visual, right? Except that we are able to customize it as we want. Now let's customize this KPI even further. Let's say we want to change the color based on the direction of the difference between the previous day and the, the current day. Uh, similar to this, but a little bit more flexible. So what we're going to do, um, I'm going to just use these uh, numbers here. We're going to use it. These are the hex, hexadecimal numbers that we're going to use for our colors. And we're going to go back to our measure here, the description measure. We're going to copy the first two variables and we're going to create a new measure for it. So we're going to name this one yeah, description color. I'm going to write these two variables. And we're going to convert actually this last variable to a return. So we're not going to enclose it with a variable. It's, this is just going to be the return. Uh, we're going to preserve the switch because um, we don't want to redo that calculation again. So in this case, we want to define what the color should be depending on what the value or what the difference is. Uh, so when it's up, we want to show that it's green and we're going to go back here. This, these are the hexadecimal numbers that I've saved before. We're going to paste it here. So if it's going up, it's green. If it's going down, it should be red. And if it's the same, then it's a black it's zero here. So 
if you use it by itself, it's not going to make any sense, but we're going to take advantage of the uh, dynamic coloring that is available on the default card visual. So let's say instead of the main visual, you want to change the color, you want to change the color of this description box here. So we're going to go to the formatting pane, data labels, you see this FX icon here, you click there. And on the format by you select field value and you change the field value to use the description color. And if you hit OK. So now you can see that the color changes and it's showing as green because the difference is a positive. But if we change it to a different date, you'll see that it changes accordingly. So as we expect. And this method is very flexible that it lets you customize the description or the data labels or the colors of them uh, without having to rely with the limitations of your visual. And that's really it for this video. I hope it helps you understand how easy it is to start using or creating your own custom KPI visuals using just the default visuals in Power BI. Thanks for watching as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. And if you enjoyed this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one.